to have trouble with men. I know what you mean. You know, I just didn't know what to do with these two guys I was dating. So on Saturday, I went to the gym and I decided to drop John. Then I went to the John and decided to drop Jim. <laughs> Katie, what happened? Did you get the bank loan? No, I did not get the bank loan. Even with Addie as your co-signer? The male chauvinist who gives the loan said we didn't qualify. Yeah, I'm too black, she's too blonde, and we're both women. <laughs> well, Katie, don't be so stubborn. Just ask Daddy for the $800. Julie, Dad's done enough. He gave me the money to open the boutique, and it wouldn't be right to ask him for any more. Well, honey, I'd like to help you out, but frankly, I am flat busted. <laughs> What are you sh about? <laughs> Anybody can see she's flat busted. <laughs> uh, did I have a wonderful day? I found some new drapes for my room. Look. Yeah, what do they look like? Well, they have pineapples and palm trees. Purple palm trees? Now, how could you buy such ugly drapes? What a dumb question. They were on sale. <laughs> Why did you shush me when Nell walked in? Addie, don't you understand? She'd hawk everything she owned if she knew I needed money for the shop. That's the truth. We've got to keep this from Nell till we find a way to help Katie. Shh! <laughs> shh! Who? <Hold. laughs> Nobody shushed. I know a shh when I hear a shh. And that's the second time I've been shh. <laughs> now, what's going on? Nell, you're making a big thing out of nothing. Ah. You're keeping a secret from me. It's okay, keep your little secret. Uh, Addie, would you help me hang my drapes, girl? Oh, sure. Now, I want to see these purple palm trees. That's got to be very unusual. What are the girls keeping from me? <laughs> oh, I know. Let's hang the drapes. You were present at the shishing. <laughs> Come on, now, let's just hang the drapes. Addie, the truth. Why would I lie to you? Because you are afraid of me. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> let's hang the drapes. Oh. Katie, I don't understand how you got yourself into this mess. That's because you don't understand business, Sam. The salesman came in with these killer sandals from Italy, and I ordered more than I could afford. I just couldn't resist. Now I don't understand. Julie, an Italian salesman doesn't just walk in with a sample case. He kisses your hand and looks into your eyes. He doesn't tell you he's married until after you've placed the order. <laughs> Now I understand. I still think you should talk to Nell. I am not going to ask Nell for help. Shh! <laughs> okay. I heard the word help, the word Nell, and the word shh. Would anybody like to take a shot at one of those? Well, Katie... Shh! <laughs> Katie, honey, if you're in trouble, I want to know about it. Now, ever since I've been a little girl, you taught me to be independent, self-sufficient, and to protect my privacy. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> Nobody leaves this table. Hello? Who was that? Joey's school. His teacher? No, the computer. This is Glenlawn Elementary School. Joey Donovan's grades are falling well before passing level. Please call the principal's office for an appointment. <laughs> That's terrible to hear that from a computer. Oh, yeah. I liked it much better when you were in school, honey. The principal would call and say, Hey, Nell, where's Blondie? Bye, <laughs> guys! Bye, guys! Joey Donovan, I want to talk to you. And I still want to talk to you. What is it, Aunt Nell? I just got a call from your school, and they say that you are failing. Mrs. Piper called? No, the school computer. And boy, was it ticked off. <laughs> oh, they must have the wrong Joey Donovan. Hey, how many Joey Donovans are in your class? A hundred. <laughs> well, you're all in trouble. I promise, Aunt Nell, I'll do better. Joey, 
every afternoon you've been going somewhere and not doing your homework, and I am putting a stop to it right now. Now, help me with your drapes. In a minute, Addie. <laughs> you, you stay right here. Don't you move. Oh, hi, Boomer. Come in. Come on in. Hi. My man, my man. <laughs> you ready? Yep. See you later, Aunt Mel. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. But this is important. So is your homework. Well, I guess we better tell her. Can you keep a secret, Aunt Nell? My man, you are in the house of secrets. <laughs> well, we're making something special for our teacher, Mrs. Piper, aren't we, Joey? Oh, yeah. You see, she's gonna retire. Retire? Come here, sweetheart. You are making a retirement gift for your teacher? That has to be the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Mrs. Piper's the one who turned me on to Shakespeare. Boomer was telling me all about Hamlet. He was a prince. He had this girlfriend, Ophelia. Yeah, great legs, really stacked. <laughs> I never got that out of Hamlet. Hey, you get out of it what you put in. <laughs> I'll have to think about that. We got a lot of work to do on Mrs. Piper's gift. Yeah, can we go now, Aunt No? Well, all right. But don't you be too late, because you got to do your homework, OK? OK, come on, Boomer. With you, my man. <laughs> my man. <laughs> you took so long, I hung your drapes myself. Boy, are they ugly. Thank you. You know, Addie, you are a wonderful friend. What are the girls keeping from me? Oh, Nell, are you still on that? And nobody is keeping anything from you. When Joey heard I needed $800, he offered me $6 from his piggy bank. <laughs> That's Joey for you. He always wants to help. Shh. <laughs> OK, that is the fourth shh. And the second, help. Come on, Nell, don't start that again. Hey, I'm not going to start anything. <laughs> you know, Addie, today has been one eye opener. I have been living in a fantasy world. Well, all these years I've been raising these kids like they were my own children. And I thought that they thought of me like their own mother, someone to tell their troubles to. Well, so much for the dream world. It's time to face reality. To them, I'm just Mel, the old living housekeeper. <laughs> you know, my room could really use a good cleaning. When you're done with her room, you can do my laundry. When you finish with that, you could do my windows. One more word and somebody might get hurt. <laughs> Come on, Mel, where's your sense of humor? You'll find out at dinner. Nell, come on, I think we need to have a little chat. Come walk me to the door. Okay. Come on. Do your windows. How would you like to have your windows upside your head? <laughs> oh, Nell, come on. Now, come on. You know the girls think of you as their mother. That's why they don't tell you everything. Hmm. You see, they tell each other secrets. They tell me secrets because I'm like their favorite aunt, but not their mother. Oh, so they would tell you something that they wouldn't tell me. Of course. And you would keep their secret from me because you're like their favorite aunt. Of course. OK. I respect that. Get it. Oh. <laughs> Spill your guts. Now you. let me out of this closet. Only one of us is getting out of this closet. <laughs> There's a doorbell now. I heard it, Addie. Aren't you going to answer it? <laughs> You stay here. I'll be right back. Hi. Hello.
Hello, I'm Mrs. Piper, Joey's teacher. Uh, yes, I'm Mel Harper of uh, the school computer call. Yes, I know. That's why I'm here. I hate when parents find out about their children from the school computer. It's so cold and impersonal. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, what did you want to tell me? Oh, oh, uh, Joey Donovan's grades are falling below a passing level. Please call the principal's office for an appointment. <laughs> Yes, the personal touch is so much better. It is. Well, I hope you'll talk to Joey. I already have. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Joey told me that you were... <laughs> By any chance, are, are you planning to retire? <laughs> In about 30 years. <laughs> that soon. <laughs> well, you give my best to that school computer, all right? And Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Joey lied to me. That little boy's been going somewhere every day and not telling me. Now he's keeping a secret from me. <laughs> now, why are you looking at me like that? Well, you are his favorite aunt. Oh, no. Now, not the closet. Oh, no. <laughs> Did I go wrong? Oh, no. No, 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 no. In that kitchen are three rotten kids keeping a secret from me. And somewhere out there is a short rotten kid keeping a secret from me. <laughs> I tell you, Eddie, I just don't know where, but somewhere along the line, I lost complete control of my entire family. Nell? Oh, hi, Addie. Hi, Chief. Oh, Chief, I am so glad you are home. Now, what were Joey's shoes doing on the front porch? I tripped and nearly fell over them. Oh, well, he got tarred on them yesterday, so I told him to leave them on the front porch. Brilliant. I damn near killed myself. I'm sorry. Look, Chief, Joey has been going somewhere every afternoon, and I'm worried sick not knowing where he goes. You know what? I think I threw my back out when I tripped. <laughs> Will you stop? whining don't you care where joey goes well from the looks of those shoes i'd say he's going where they're resurfacing a street so that's where he got the tar from why didn't i think of that because you weren't in england with me studying crime techniques with scotland yard <laughs> chief how would i find out what streets they're resurfacing no problem the city's resurfacing the street in front of the shopping plaza. Now I'm on top of everything. The shopping mall? So that's where Joey has been spending his time. You know, Chief, you are a genius. Well, the boys at Scotland Yard are masters at crime deduction. They showed me how to take one little clue and get the big picture. Wow. You know, I'm impressed. Only a man who has studied at Scotland Yard could deduct that Joey has been spending his time at the shopping mall. Or the beach. <laughs> That's why they never called Jack the Ripper. He was at the beach. <laughs> Keep this secret. <gasps>
as hot as I am. Don't lose your cool. Joey, you lied to me. You told me you were working on a retirement gift for your teacher. Well, I met Mrs. Piper, and she's about the same age as I am. Aren't you ready for retirement? You want to die. <laughs> hey, no. We never said Miss Piper was retiring now. Yeah, we just want to be ready for when she does. I bet this was all your idea, wasn't it? One of my best. <laughs> Listen, because of this dancing, Joey is failing in school. But it's gonna pay off. With the white boy in my dance act, we might grab a commercial. <laughs> the boomer says we could make 50, 60 million dollars. You can make 60 million dollars when you are through with the third grade. Oh, Come hey, on, forget yeah. it. Well, it's nice working with you, Joey. Nice working with you too, Boomer. I hate to lose you, my man. The way you dance, you make a great brother. <laughs> wow, you hear that, Ian? No, I could be black. <laughs> if you fail in school, you're gonna be black and blue. <laughs> now, listen, young man, you just can't run off any old time you want to. You have to learn to be a responsible, decent little person. I did it for Katie. So what? Katie. What about Katie? Shh. You're not supposed to know. <laughs> I'm not supposed to know what about Katie. Don't make me tell. All right, you keep your little secret. But we better hurry home, because as soon as you finish your homework, you're going to have to clean up your room. Katie needs money to save her boutique. <laughs> How much money does she need? $800. $800? Is that why you were breakdancing this afternoon to try to get money to help Katie? Oh, Joey, come here. You know, I'm so sorry I yelled at you. You really are a responsible, decent little person. Do I still have to clean up my room? Yes. <laughs> Well, can I break dance with Boomer? No. Well, at least not until your grades are better. But I do hope that you've learned a lesson. I mean, you must always tell me the truth. You must never keep a secret from your Aunt Nell. Okay, Aunt Nell. No more secrets. Now, that's good. Tell me, can you keep a secret? Sure. Shh. Okay. Oh, be careful, and thank you so much. And be, be careful with the sofa. And, okay, be careful with that television. Don't you drop it, all right? Thank you. <laughs> mama said there'll be days like this. There'll be days like this, my mama said. Now, did you expect me to believe this? Joey could not have made $800 breakdancing. You gave it to him, Nell. I did not. Look. I went down to the beach and I saw them break dancing. They were so good. You know, they passed a hat and they collected $800. Would you swear on the Bible? Of, of course I would. Why not? Here's the Bible. <laughs> Where'd you get that Bible? Come on, Nell. Come you on, Nell. No, I did not Nell. give him the money. I did not give him the money. I gave him the money. I mean, I knew you needed my help, even though you were keeping a secret from me, but I just felt it deep down in my bones. Just call it mother's intuition. I told her. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, Nell, it was a loving thing to do, but I don't need your money. I went back to the bank this afternoon, and I found out they have a new loan manager. And he wants to encourage small business. So he encouraged me. And I encouraged him. <laughs> Are you sure you don't need the $800? Honest. Oh, honey, Kathleen, I am so proud of you, you know, doing this on your own, but you should have told me. Well, we all agreed that if you knew she needed the money, you'd hawk everything you owned to help her. Hawk everything? I don't have to hawk anything. I mean, I have a few bucks put away. What do you think I am, some living housekeeper? Now? Not now, Chief. You know what? You know, the fact that you girls are sticking close to each other. And that, the fact that, you know, that you, you help each other. What? Not now, Chief. It just, it just makes me feel just... I'm just so proud. I just feel like I've done such a good job. No. What is it? 
I wanted to stretch out on the couch and watch a little TV, but I can't find the couch, and there's no TV. The sofa is being cleaned, and the television is being repaired. <laughs> Where you go? The hawk shop. <laughs> Why did you have to write a book? Hi, Katie. Hi, Dad. Where is everybody? Oh, uh, Julie and Sam are upstairs, and Nell's in the kitchen making sure Joey does his homework. <laughs> okay. Then the other one. Dad? Yep. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing? I thought you were going to make sure that Joey does his homework. I am. Joey happens to be studying out of space. He was showing me Neil Armstrong's first moonwalk. <laughs> Come on, Joey. One small step for mankind. <laughs> Hi, Edith. Yeah. 